Today we're gonna try and figure out why Bobcat is showing that it's overheating. Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4 if you like building Toyotas, working on Toyotas, or going off-roading Toyotas, and this is the channel for you. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Today we're going to be diagnosing what the heck is wrong with Bobcat. Let me show you what's happening, and then hopefully you guys might have some suggestions for me. I have one thing I'm going to try today, and we're going to see if that solves it. But if not, I'm going to need some input from you guys. So there's the temperature gauge right there. Uh, you can see it's super low, it's all the way down. Bobcat's been sitting for a few days here in the shop, and I'll show you as soon as I turn on the accessories here, Bobcat's temperature flies up all the way past the hot level. So obviously the engine's cold, it's just been sitting here, so the temperature of the engine's not hot. So I'm having some sort of electrical issue. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be swapping out the temperature sensor. Hopefully this will solve the problem because it's like a $10 part and it's quite easy to get to. Let me show you where it's at. So let me show you where this temperature sensor is. It is this plug right here, all the way down on the bottom. It's on, it's actually in your intake area. Um, it's the one that this little black uh, wire goes down to and it's just a simple little switch down there. So what we're going to do is yank this plug off and then I believe it's a 17 millimeter and we're going to yank that sensor out. So the first thing I did was I pulled the plug out with some needle nose pliers. It's just simple. Grab it, pull it out, pull it off and it's just there it is. So I'll just put that out of the way and now I'm going to use a 17 millimeter and I'm going to pull the sensor out the rest of the way. I already loosened it a little bit. Go and there it is. So there's the sensor. This is what we're going to be replacing. So here we go. We got the new one in hand. It is just super shiny and nice. Um, and now I'm just going to slide it back down and into place. And hopefully uh, this all goes smooth and it works great. We'll see here soon. All right, tighten that up. Now for the hard part, trying to push the plug back on. There we go. Okay. So now the sensor is in place all the way down and, and set into position. Put the wire on, everything's in place. So now the moment of truth, we're gonna go turn that dial and see if the temperature stays all the way down. All right, so here we go. Let's see if it stays down. Hopefully it does. Woohoo! Staying down. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it run for a while outside and I'm gonna see if that temperature goes back up to a normal position. So there you go, it is holding temperature. It's a little bit above halfway. Is that normal? I'm not sure. I don't really remember. It seems about right to me. Let me know down in the comments below if that's correct, if that's what you think is or what your rig runs. If you have a suggestion on what I should be doing to try to lower that temp, uh, please let me know as well. And like always, don't forget, keep crawling.